Welcome everyone to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's time once again for the running of the Coca-Cola 600 here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. And EA Sports is here to bring you all the action. This is an awesome facility, isn't it? This track was the first one to focus on spectator comfort and it shows. This place always draws an enormous crowd. Most of the team shops are located in this area, which give it a hometown feel. We're in for some great racing here at Lowe's. Drivers, start your engines! Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 25 of the Pokemon NASCAR Series. Today it is under the lights action here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. I figured we move this up from the chase to the regular season because we had our race at the Rock in North Carolina and this would be just a, a little quick drive by a drive from North Carolina over here to Charlotte so they're pretty near from each other. They're in the same state too so I figured why not. Jacob Waller is on the pole as we're about to go green for 30 laps here in the Coca-Cola 600. And the green flag will come out here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, Waller hangs on right now. And there you see Emmanuel Magnus, in, Magnus running in second place. gets a good jump. Oh boy, they're almost going three wide in the middle. This is going to get pretty, pretty intense. Oh, one driver is in the wall. Able to go through and able to stay on the track unscathed. Magnuson now leads. Went bell for the lead. Now it's going to get pretty tight. Oh man, Lawler is in the wall. He spins. And the pole sitter's been taken out on the second lap of the race. Lawler spins. He hit the wall and he hit, he hit the turn four wall. Man, he got a piece of it. I apologize for the little laggy there, a little lag there. I'm just trying to get to the replay and this lag is making it hard to get. Huh. Man, oh man. Anyway, let's hope we can get a good replay off this. Anyway. There's Jacob Lawler going up in the wall right here, turn four. And I think Jake Jefferson is the guy that hits him. Yep, Jake Jefferson hits him. Spins out and into the wall. Nobody else was involved in the wreck, surprisingly. But Lawler, the pole setter, has been taken out already. Wow. And ben Brealy is now your new leader. Weird. And I... Also forgot to mention about Morgan Mc... Oh, we had a crash before? What? So I saw a couple drivers out of the race. Did we have a crash into the caution? That is so weird. We had a wreck to the caution. That is just weird. Because I saw four, five cars involved. Yes, we did have a pileup under yellow. Right here, we just saw five cars wreck out under yellow. Wow. And that happened under the yellow fly. That is just unusual. Man. Anyway, we're back to the green. And we're a little cleaner than before. Ben Braley keeps his lead as he's trying to join his teammate Jerry Guerrero in the victory in Drivers with Wins in Season 25. BK tries to have both its cards with at least one win. Here comes Zach Fitzwater. The Australian driver looks to win here at Charlotte. And the two Penske cars with identical sponsors 
are now in the top five. James Richardson and Nikki Maxwell. And wow, the two Ford EcoBoost cars running one two right now, battling for the lead. Who won that battle? Well, I think it was Maxwell who won the battle. She did. Maxwell won that one. Wow, what are the odds of having these two run together? It's just incredible. Emmanuel Magnuson. Gonna try to go on the bottom, and he does. Magnuson gets second. Oh man, he's trying to gain ground here. We have a caution. Second of the day. Second caution today. Are they gonna race it back? They won't. We had a big wreck. Brings out our yellow. Big crash that brought out a yellow flag. It involves Johnny Garner and Joshua Sicully. And there you see Avi Sachs right into Sicully and right into Johnny Gardner. Three cars spin after, at, at turn two. And that brought out our second caution of the race. And Richardson was able to beat out the 11 of the line. Now we have pit stops. Oh boy, we'll see if pit stops will play a factor in who decides who wins this race. Nice views, by the way, of it of Charlotte. Just got to say, these views are breathtaking for a track like this. Everyone's gone to pit road now. Who's going to come out first? I see a couple drivers out first. One car is out. Another car is out. Who's out first? It's James Richardson who's out first. No problems off pit road for these guys. Richardson's off pit road. Able to survive. And now takes the lead from Magnuson. And Nicky Maxwell is done. Oh no. One of the Roush cars is out of the race. And that's Nicky Maxwell. She was fine when she came out of pit road. I guess something must have blown up after she came in she came back on the track. Oh, that's a tough break. So now Richardson doesn't have his buddy. He doesn't have his teammate to help him out now. So Richardson is on his own. That's going to be a big problem for the 17. And by the way, he's battling against his old ride. To add it to, on top of that. So it's going to be pretty tough for the 17 to hang on to the lead here at Charlotte. We're going back to the green. Oh, but that's a tough break. Maxwell was running 1-2 at one point with the 17, and then just loses it. Wow. Here we go. Richard's 17 hanging on for the race lead. Battle for second. John Arnett looks to really make an impact. Looks to score his second one of the season. Now Aiden Milliken wants to sneak himself into the front. And he does. Now the 78 of Aiden Milliken is trying to go up front as well. Oh boy, they're hitting the wall. Richardson's in the wall. Richardson's in the wall and he hits it. Now it's down to these guys. Ben Braley trying to make a comeback here. He goes for the race lead. Oh boy, side by side action with just 14 to go. Oh boy, Braley trying to hang on for dear life. Milliken in the wall. Three wide. Three wide for second. Ooh, Milliken.
Millikin's in the wall again, and now Wanderlei's in the grass. Now there's a wreck. Big one happens off turn one. Wow. Yikes, that's just a big crash. They'll race it back. 23 or 24, who's going to win that battle of the caution? And it's going to be John Arnett. Wow, those two were battling it out for the lead to the to, with the wreck behind them. It's a real shame. I mean, wow, this started with Wanderlei and Milliken and Magnus both getting all together. Ooh, look at that. You just saw did you see that? Wanderlei jumped. Her his car jumped. Did you see the jump? Watch this. It really did jump. It jumped right back on track. Wow. I'm not making this up, guys. It really, really jumped. Whoa. Wanderlei sure made a jump into the track. He literally jumped his way back on track. And caused the wreck. Ooh, man. Wow, that's got to be one of the strangest wrecks we've ever seen. Yikes. And a couple of car, big cars, a lot of cars involved in the wreckage. Just wow. Just <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. It's going to set up a final couple lap showdown, folks. Wow, this is gonna this is just this race is just intense. But anyway, here we go. Final laps here at Rocky uh, here at Charlotte. Eight to go. And John Arnold off to a good start. John Arner looking to get a second win this season. He won five races, by the way, last season. Just thought I'd point that out. So Arner's been really consistent in these past couple seasons. And John Arner looks to add yet another win to his to his name. The 24 has just been magical in season 25. Seven to go. Here comes Kermika Jazzin in third place. Gonna try for second. And Jazzin able to make it through. Kermika's in the middle though. Cody Smart also trying to make an impact. Cody gets it. Oh no, they're heading the wall, and there goes the 18. There goes Jasmine. They, she spins, and a couple more cars involved. Will they race it back? I think they will. This is going to be the race, maybe. Oh no, they won't. They won't. Wow. But a big crash. It's going to set up a final couple lap showdown. Two to go here at Charlotte, folks. Here we go. And look at this. The top three are former win or top the top three in the field are winners this season. So we're definitely gonna see a two-time winner come out here at Charlotte. But who will it be? Here's John Arnold for the lead. Still smoke still a lot of smoke from the wreckage. Now, the 35 trying to hang on. And here we are. 35, Cody Smart, going to come with a white flag. Boils on the bottom, though. Here he comes. One lap to go. Tord Larson trying to sneak his way in. White flag. Cody Smart, the Daytona 500 winner, looks to add another win. Here comes Boils for the lead. Gonna come down to those, these two, side by side. 35 trying to overpower, he can, here comes Boyles. 35 or 95, who's it gonna be? To the line, I think it's Cody Smart, hanging on for the win. Cody Smart becomes a two-time winner and locks himself in the chase. 
And now he has a win, his second win of the, the second win of the season, and he's a lock in the chase. And he adds that to his Daytona 500 win. He wins both the Daytona 500 and the Coca-Cola 600 in the same season. First driver to ever achieve the feat in the Pokemon NASCAR series. And he's thrilled to have this honor. And more importantly, his second win of the season. He is in the chase now. So Cody Smart, the winner, again here at Charlotte. And it was a wreck fest. Only 10 cars were able to survive here today. Boy, was it a wild race to the finish. My goodness. But anyway, that is it from here. That is it from Charlotte. And we will see you at Darlington.